your de directorial debut, so tell us how you feel about that. And my second <coughs> question um, is that in this series there are some films that were very big success, and there are other films who disappointed the fans. Um, so what was your main point? What, what were you trying to do, and what did you concentrate on when making this film? Um, the transition for me from writing and producing to directing uh, was very, I would say, organic. Um, and really for, for two reasons. Uh, one is, I was working with actors that I knew, and that um, are actually friends um, uh, off screen, and are extraordinary actors on screen. Um, and so I knew I could trust them, and that I knew I, and I, knew I had their support um, in a really profound way that's unique going to the movie as a director, whether it's your first movie or it's your 20th movie. Um, and I also had um, other partners on the movie. Um, Hutch Parker uh, is the producer of this film, is a producer of so many. Um, he's here working with us right now. He's been the producer of so many of these X-Men movies, and the Logan movie, and Wolverine. Um, and he was an incredible partner, uh, creatively and in terms of managing the studio that he used to run. Um, and I had uh, a great crew. I had an Oscar-winning cinematographer who uh, shot um, Avatar. I had an Oscar-winning editor um, who was Chris Nolan's editor who won the Oscar for Dunkirk. I had Hans Zimmer, the greatest composer alive, doing the music. So I had an incredible support network of people that made the transition to directing um, as easy as it possibly could be. Um, and I've been over the years as a writer, producer, studying directors. Um, and so sort of apprenticing and learning as I was working. And I think, to your second question, I think when these movies work for the audience is when they're focused on the characters. I think when we make them emotional and we make them character-driven and dramatic, um, because we love the characters from the comic so much, and that's what's so uh, powerful about this franchise, those are the, the best of the X-Men movies. And I think when we veer away from that into pure spectacle, and pure scale, and there's too many characters to really dive deep into the main characters, um, it's not as emotional a journey. And so I tried to make this movie as intimate and personal and emotional and character as possible, having learned my lessons over the years from making some that worked and, and some that didn't. Thank you.